on your spotty. <laughs> What's good fellas and welcome back to the NCAA 14 Ultra Rebuild here on the channel featuring my favorite college mate, Michigano State. Checking out the team needs, we really need a quarterback. If you remember last episode, we signed a 79 overall freshman who was redshirted for this year. However, we have three seniors. So basically, we just need to sign a backup. Other than that, we don't need to pick up anything, mate. We're pretty much, well, we're C's. At least we've filled our spot, you know what I mean? We have a couple of people to insta-commit. It hasn't been good to us over the last couple of seasons. So fingers crossed we can sign some big name talent. If we don't sign anybody, I'm just gonna skip it though. 12 seconds later. We didn't sign anybody. However, Daniel Williams looks like a pretty solid prospect. I'm gonna give him 700. Same as John Grisby looks fantastic. Travis Brown, I chuck him on. I really like the look at Jake Britt, 79 overall linebacker. And who wouldn't, mate? Dominique Henderson, nice little 330 bonus on him. 81 overall running back. I specifically didn't scout him so we could do it together. He looks really, really fast, so. Ooh -hoo -hoo! 88 juke, 88 spin, 77 break tackle, 96 speed, 97 excel. I really want to sign you now, bro. Come to the top of the list, please. I insist. Matt Mills looks pretty decent. We do need as much help on the... Actually, you know what? I've just changed my mind spontaneously. Our cornerbacks are kind of lacking, but at the same time, they're all freshmen and sophomores. So we just need to give it like a year or two. I promise we'll be good. By the way, fellas, I just got to let you know that I started a brand new Instagram account. The Twitch chat basically bullied me into making an Instagram. So I went ahead and make one. I don't even have a display picture yet. But if you guys want to go give us a follow, it would be much appreciated. I might even do a giveaway over there just to get my cloud numbers up, you know? We'll see what happens. But if you want to follow, feel free to follow. I'll leave it down underneath my Twitch link in the description. That being said, fellas, it's finally time to jump into the season. I'm going to turn the camera off so I can save it for the end of the episode. Now that being said, let's jump into it. Well, that's a little bit of a kick in the teeth. Missouri convincingly beats us. All right, it looks like we're dropping down by 20 every week on Clark Phillips. I'm still going to pursue him for a couple more weeks just to see what the goal is. I mean, really? Like, we're Michigan State, mate. Not even Ohio State can keep up. Come on, can we get our first... At least it was close, you know what I mean? Like, little overtime victory there. So we're off to a 0-2 on two start. Finally, we get a convincing dub and against Pittsburgh. Now, we do have some really hard matchups this season, but I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that the ones that aren't 99 overall schools, we should be able to pick up the dub. So we are currently fifth on Clark Phillips' list. However, I think it's pretty much a no-go from this point. We do have JP Triplett, a scrambling quarterback. He's six foot six. He would be a welcomed addition. Obviously, he would probably redshirt and be called into play if our quarterback got injured. In saying that, after redshirting, I doubt he'll even stay for two seasons to watch somebody else be the starter. But you know what? We'll chuck him on the list anyway. I also like David Johnson, a hard hitter. How could I resist? Big up Brandon Daniels as well. We'll do a little bit of scouting on these guys. Time to let go of Clark Phillips, man. This is what annoys me right here. This is a waste of time. EA, I know this game's five years old, but can we get a patch? I might just lower the points on him. I'm only gonna give him five points. David Johnson, mate. Oh, he's pretty fast as well. Really good zone. Really good play rec. He can't tackle a bar of soap. As much as I really like Brennan Daniels, I'm gonna have to go with David Johnson, the cornerback. Hopefully we sign that dude at the top so we can start spreading these points around a little bit. That's what I'm saying, man. Games like this should be dubs. We have Mississippi State up next and they're also ranked. And of course, another close loss. If we can just end up scoring like one more touchdown each game, we will be undefeated hands down. Apart from that first game. Major Applewhite is now level 40. That's what's up. We have a five-star athlete, Jed Cook, who's 17% lock, runs a 4-3-2. I'm going to chuck this guy on. I mean, this wide receiver is so good, bro. The only problem is he's a wide receiver. I'm going to chuck this cornerback on instead and also top it off with Chris McNeil, the six foot five outside linebacker. Don't know what happened here. We can't even break back in on Jake Britt. Well, that's a rip. But we can break back in on Dominique Robinson, the 79 overall tight end. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're dropping considerably for Chester Shula. Hopefully, this man does not commit. Even he's got to patch this game and fix the damn insta commit 20% chance I've tried to insta commit seven people I must just be very unlucky I guess we're 2700 behind you know what wait how much are they going up 885 but if I give him 700 plus the 265 we should be gaining mathematics bro we have Penn State big 10 competition baby I know we got a lot of Penn State fans out there oh uh, no that is three games 
We have lost by less than 10 points. Still waiting on Travis Brown to commit. We do take the lead on Dominique Robinson though, finally. Turns out that this cheeky bugger has locked us out again. So we're gonna go ahead and just get rid of you. We will never speak of that man again. We still haven't committed anybody yet. All right, we're on a two and four record and we smash Wisconsin 52 to 21. <laughs> That's looking a bit more positive now. So uh, the good old classic matchup between Michigan and Michigan State. Yep, they're still ranked four. Oh, yes! Wow, 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 wow. Back-to-back -back dubs, including a massive win over Michigan. John Grisby, Travis Brown, Nick Smith, and Jared Mueller all commit to the squad, all 75 overall. We also get Kevin Harper, but nobody cares. We have Adrian Medley here, 74 overall, 66% lock rate. If we learn anything from last episode, it is never too late to start going after somebody. I'm also gonna chuck on Melvin Williams for the simple fact that there is nobody else to go after. Let's do a little bit of scouting, yikes. All right, see you later, mate. Jed Cook goes up to us, 81 overall. We're already first on his list, nobody else has gone after him. Jack Mitchell, he goes up to a 77. Adrian Medley, oh, <laughs> never mind. This game is very, very, very RNG based. You beat Michigan and then you lose to Northwestern, who surprisingly has a worse record than you. And then we come out the next week and beat the crap out of Iowa. We go ahead and side Brandon Daniels, David Johnson, and Daniel Williams. All really solid prospects. <laughs> Could be worse though. Oh, finally we insta commit somebody and it's a 63 overall wide receiver. This should be a dub. If we don't win this game, then something is horribly wrong. 48 to 27. Man, Nebraska has unfortunately fallen. That's a shame, dude. I like Nebraska. Two in a row again? Let's go, 34 to nine. So that means we'll finish on a seven and five record. We do get a bowl game, but uh, we still got a lot of work to do if we want to crack a conference championship. And there goes JP Triplett and Ryan Hicks. We still have to get Dominic Robinson and Jed Cook yet. We've got a bye week this week. We might as well go ahead to the conference championship. See what's up. And we pick up Jack Mitchell, 77 overall cornerback. So that's two high 70 overall rated cornerbacks. We really need cornerbacks. That's good. I reckon next year, if we don't draw Ohio State again, we will probably finish on a 10 and 2 record. That's what I'm banking on. 10 and 2, baby. And we're taking on LSU. The mediocrity in the SEC versus the mediocrity in the Big Ten. This far into the ultra rebuild, we shall find out. Wow, LSU killed us. All right, never mind. First team All-American, earn a bowl bid, blah, blah, blah. Ranked top 10 in points per game. Well, that's ironic because we lost a lot of games. Close games too. Yet we apparently dropped top 10. I mean, I guess that means our defense is trash. Let's check out if we have any transfer requests. We have <laughs> Jason Doddy, the left guard, is a 44 overall. The ultimate Crobo. All right, the only two people I really like are Jed Cook and Dominic Robinson. I really, really like Jed Cook though he could have easily signed with one of these guys who stole so many of our players decided not to and now he's gonna get a crack at Michigan State we just got to make sure that we can lock him up these two guys will really help us out I've only invested in both of those guys hey let's go we got both of them would have been nice to get our uh, Jared Bell but I'd still rather these two sign a top 10 class that's all right we literally finished 10th behind Illinois Penn State Auburn South Carolina is there again we've done a really good job raising them Utah State was in 15th wow good job Utah the class is looking really, really solid. I like it, man. A lot of high 70s, 180. So let's check this out real quick. We have Jed Cook, who I believe belongs at running back. So we are going to go ahead with that. Brandon Daniels, the athlete. He's a 79 overall quarterback. I think that's all he can really play, which is a shame. He can play cornerback and free safety to some extent. But I think we got ourselves another quarterback. And then Travis Brown, the 75 overall athlete. I guess he's going to have to go receiver. He's actually got a lot of speed for a freshman, which isn't bad and he's six foot two and everybody's favorite part of the season especially yours this is why we're going to be a top five team next year we're all right we're all right we're not quite there yet but we're kind of getting there nice little center nice little middle linebacker nice little dd we have two really high middle linebackers our quarterback goes up to an 84 he is a freshman red shirt mate when this guy's a senior he'll be 99 hands down and this is what I was talking about. Wide receiver, we are lacking just a little bit. But keep in mind, junior, sophomore, 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 junior. Tight end, 78 overall, sophomore. 
Two years, mate. That's all I need. Give me two years. This guy has 96 acceleration for a middle linebacker, bro. Cornerback is lacking yet again, but once again, sophomore, junior, freshman, freshman. Telling you, mate. Two years, bro. Of course, Jake Bell, true freshman starter last year. Sophomore this year. He goes up to an 83 overall. And then Gavin Hall, the senior, he'll be replaced by one of our free safeties as of next year. Granted, they don't leave the squad. That being said, fellas, if you made it this far into the video, you are the real MVP. Hope the rest of your day is awesome. And from me personally, I'm out. Peace. I don't know where you've been You're slurring all your words Not making any sense